Interpretation of Medicare, an R package. When you run the Medicare, you should get two types of data analysis results, one, a graph and, two, several numbers. In this video, I am going to briefly explain simple interpretation for the results you get from performing Medicare. So, now you may ask, what does the graph demonstrate? And what do the numbers mean? Basically, the graph is a detailed illustration of each study in your data and the numbers you received are the summary of the whole analysis, informing you of the correlation efficient, or mean, lower and upper mean confidence interval. In short, if you want to examine each study in your data, you can look at the graph. If you just want to see the final result or in a fun way of saying it, the final judgment of your data, you can simply look at the numbers. Next, I will go on explain in detail how you can read the graph and then the numbers. First, let us have a look at the graph. The horizontal axis of the diagram ranges from minus 1 to plus 1, which represents the strength of your correlations. The more your correlation approaches 0, the weaker it becomes. You can look at the summary correlation, the lowest dot below, to see the overall correlation. Based on Cohen's interpretation of the effect size, 1988, if it is around 0.10.3, it has small effect size, from 0.4 to 0.7, it has a medium effect, and from 7 or above, it has a large effect size. Alright, now let us go on with the second part, the numbers. The first number we can examine is the p-value. If the p-value is smaller than 0.05, then it is significant. In other words, your correlation among two variables is significant. Next, you can look at the R-mean, which is the effect size that we mentioned just a while ago in the graph. For example, I have a R-mean at 0.42, I would say that the effect size of my correlation is medium. What about the R-mean lower and R-mean upper? Well. They are the confidence interval level, which informs you that your R-mean will normally fluctuate within this range, between the lower and upper R-mean. But watch out if your confidence interval range involves zero value, for example, from minus 0.5 to 0.4. When it involves zero value, then your R-mean must be interpreted with caution. Well done everyone. Now you know how to interpret the Medicare results. Hope you find this video helpful. Lemngo.